Zay Automotive Reviews, guys, and this is the cooling system for the 2022 Ford Maverick. And the one thing that's so cool about the cooling system is that it has a fail-safe system on it where some of the cylinders deactivate and acts as fans to cool off the engine. It is so cool. This is cool technology. A hey, Automotive Reviews, you guys enjoy the video. Remember, like, share, and subscribe. <laughs> The 2022 Ford Maverick. Checking the coolant. Now when the engine is cold, check the concentration and level of the coolant at the intervals listed in the scheduled maintenance information. Now make sure that the coolant level is between the minimum and the maximum marks of the coolant reservoir. Coolant expands when it's hot. The level may extend beyond the max mark. Now if the coolant level is at or below the minimum mark, Add pre-diluted coolant immediately. Maintain coolant concentration within 48 to 50%, which equates to a freeze point between 29 degrees Fahrenheit and 35 degrees Fahrenheit. Coolant concentration should be checked using the refractometer. We do not recommend the use of a hydrometer or coolant test strips for measuring coolant concentration. Now do not remove the coolant reservoir cap when the engine is on or the cooling system because the cooling system is hot. Wait 10 minutes for the cooling system to cool down. Now cover the coolant reservoir cap with a thick cloth to prevent the possibility of scalding and slowly remove the cap. Fear to follow these instructions could result in personal injury. Do not add engine coolant when the engine is on or the cooling system is hot. Fear to follow these instructions can result in personal injury. And do not add coolant further than the max mark. Do not put coolant in the windshield washer and reservoir. If sprayed on the windshield, coolant could make it difficult to see through the windshield. And do not use stop leak pellets. Cooling system sealants are non-specified additives as they can cause damage to the engine cooling or heating system, resulting component damage may not be covered by the vehicle warranty. Now, automotive fluids are not interchangeable. It is very important to use pre-diluted coolant approved to the correct specification in order to avoid plugging the small passageways in the engine cooling system. Do not mix different colors or types of coolant in your vehicle. Mixing of engine coolant or using an incorrect coolant may harm the engine or cooling system components and could void your vehicle warranty. Now, if pre-diluted coolant is not available, use the approved concentration coolant diluting it to 50-50 with a deionized or distilled water. Using water that has not been deionized may contribute to deposit formation, corrosion, and plugging of, a, of the small cooling system passageways. The top of the coolant level on the following, unscrew the cap slowly. Any pressure escapes as you unscrew the cap. Add enough pre-diluted coolant to reach the correct levels. We do not recommend the use of recycled coolant. Now replace the coolant reservoir cap and turn the cap clockwise until it contacts the hard stop. Check the coolant level in the coolant reservoir the next few times you drive your vehicle if necessary. Repeat step two. If you have to add more than 1.1 quart of engine coolant per month, have your vehicle checked as soon as possible. Operating the engine with a low level of coolant can result in the engine overheating and possible engine damage. Now, in case of emergency, you can add a large amount of water without engine coolant in order to reach a vehicle service location. Service your vehicle as soon as possible. Water alone without engine coolant can cause engine damage from corrosion, overheating, and freezing. Do not use the following as a coolant substitute as they can cause engine damage from overheating or freezing. Do not use alcohol, methanol, green, or any coolant mixed with alcohol or methanol in the freeze. 
Do not add extra inhibitors, additives to the coolant. These can be harmful and compromise the corrosion protection of the coolant. Severe climate. If you drive in extremely cold climates, you may need to increase the coolant concentration above 50%. A coolant concentration of 60% provides improved freeze point protection. Coolant concentration above 60% decrease the overheat protection. Characterize of the coolant are characteristics of the coolant and could cause engine damage. Now, if you drive in, in extremely hot climates, you may need to decrease the coolant concentration of 40%. A coolant concentration of 40% provides improved overheat protection. Coolant concentration uh, below 40% decrease the overheat corrosion protection and the characteristics of the coolant and could cause engine damage. Now, coolant change. Now, change of the coolant at specific mileage intervals refer to scheduled maintenance information. And um, in order that, see the uh, normal scheduled maintenance. Now dispose of used coolant in an appropriate manner. Follow your community regulations and standards for recycling and deposing or disposing of automotive fluids. Fall safe cooling allows you to temporarily drive your vehicle before any incremental component damage occurs. The fall safe or fail safe distance depends on the ambient temperature, the vehicle load, and terrain. How fail safe cooling works. Now, if the engine begins to overheat, the coolant temperature gauge moves toward the red zone. A warning lamp illuminates, and the message may appear in the information display. That's what you see here. Now, if the engine reaches a preset over temperature condition, the engine automatically switches to alternating cylinder operation. Each disabled cylinder acts as an ear pump and cools the engine. That is what we call smart science, folks. That is so cool. That is really cool. Now, when this occurs, your vehicle still operates. However, engine power is limited. The air conditioning system turns off. Continued operation increases the temperature, causing the engine to completely shut down. Your steering and braking effort increases in this situation. Now, when the engine temperature cools, you can restart the, the engine. Have your vehicle checked as soon as possible to minimize the engine damage. When the fail safe mode is activated, fall safe mode is for use during emergencies only. Operate your vehicle in fail-safe mode only as long as necessary to bring your vehicle to rest in a safe location and seek immediate repairs. When in fail-safe mode, your vehicle will have limited power and will not be able to maintain high-speed operation. It may completely shut down without warning, potentially losing engine power. Power steering assist, uh, power brake assist, which may increase the possibility of a crash resulting in serious injury. Do not remove the coolant reservoir cap when the engine is on or the cooling system is hot. Wait 10 minutes for the uh, cooling system to cool down. Now cover the coolant reservoir cap with a thick cloth to prevent the possibility of scalding and slowly remove the cap. Follow these instructions. A failure to follow these instructions could result in personal injury. Your vehicle has limited engine power when the fail safe mode drives your vehicle with caution. Your vehicle does not maintain high-speed operation, and the engine could operate poorly. Remember that the engine is capable of automatically shutting down to prevent engine damage in this situation. Pull off the road as soon as you possibly can and switch the engine off. If you are a member of a roadside assistance program, we recommend that you contact your roadside assistance provider immediately. If this is not possible, wait for a short period of time for the engine cool. Now check the coolant level. If the coolant level is already below the minimum, add pre-diluted coolant immediately. When the engine temperature cools, you can restart the engine, have your vehicle checked as soon as you possibly can. And drive your, ve drive your vehicle without repair can cause engine damage. Engine coolant temperature management. To reduce the risk of crash injury, be prepared 
that the uh, vehicle speed may reduce and the vehicle may not be able to accelerate with full power until the coolant temperature is reduced. If you tow a trailer with your vehicle, the engine may temporarily reach a higher temperature during severe operating conditions. For example, ascending a long or steep grade and a high ambient temperatures. At this time, you may notice the coolant temperature gauge move toward the red zone and a message may appear in the information display. You may notice a reduction in the vehicle's speed caused by the reduced engine power. In order to manage the uh, engine coolant temperature, your vehicle may enter this mode if certain high temperatures and high low conditions take place. The amount of speed reduction depends on the vehicle loading grade and ambient temperatures. If this occurs, there is no need to stop your vehicle. You can continue to drive. The air condition may automatically turn on and off during severe operating conditions. To protect the engine from overheating. Now when the coolant temperatures decreases to the normal operating temperatures, the air condition turns on. If the coolant temperature gauge moves fully into the red zone, or if the coolant temperature warning or service engine soon message appears in your information display, do the following. Stop your vehicle as soon as it is safe to do so. Uh, fully apply the parking brake, shift in the park or neutral. Leave the engine running until the coolant temperature gauge needle returns to the normal position. If the temperature does not drop after se several minutes, follow these remaining steps. Switch the engine off and wait for it to cool. Check the coolant level. If the coolant level is at or below the minimum mark, add pre-diluted coolant immediately. And if the engine or if the coolant level is normal, restart the engine and continue. That is the engine coolant folks for the 2022 Ford Maverick and this is what we learned about the cutoff system the fail safe system and it is just awesome folks this is the automotive reviews remember like share and subscribe and have a fantastic day this is the automotive reviews thanks for watching sharing and subscribing and have an awesome and fantastic day much love and again thanks for coming by